In this video, I'm going to demonstrate something called a Boolean difference. Uh, that's that's just what I call what I'm about to do. If you're familiar with uh, you know, Autodesk Mesh Mixer or uh, maybe even Blender, it's a Boolean difference is where you put a two models together, uh, like you have one intersecting the other, and whatever whatever the intersecting model is doing, you take that chunk out of you know, the model you're intersecting it with. I That probably was not the clearest explanation, so I'll just go ahead and just do the model. So here I have what I'm developing. I, I have a hip joint here that I'm making for a leg for my uh, action figure here. And what I plan on doing with this particular design is I plan on having this mushroom piece here be held in to this pelvis and not slide back and forth. It just rotate along you know, the axle here and the rest of the mushroom peg. So as my model is right now, it's just a smooth hole going through, but I need a place like a saddle guess you could call it for this mushroom part to clamp in between the two pelvis halves so I'll just demonstrate quick why what I have so I have this lower half here that's going to attach to the upper half with a couple screws to clamp this in there so I need I need the channels in there, like your saddles, I think I call them, to be able to hold this piece in. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this hip joint into position, just like this. I know I've got to move it in four centimeters, like that. I'll hit OK. And in order to do this Boolean difference, there's not an actual modify tool called Boolean difference, like you might have in Mesh Mixer. But instead, you can use the combine tool to combine bodies. So the target body that I want to you know, do the difference with, it's going to be this pelvis. And I can select... Apparently, I can only do one at a time, either this part or that part. And the tool body is going to be this hip joint right here. And the operation I want to do is cut. And when I cut this, I I do want to keep the tool body. Uh, apparently by default, <coughs> excuse me, apparently by default, uh, Fusion 360 will delete the tool body and just leave the thing right there. I'll just demonstrate it quick by clicking OK. And you can see it made a cut into the pelvis, but my hip joint or tool body in this case is gone. So I'm just going to undo, combine, and just do this again. Make my target body the upper pelvis, the tool body, uh, this hip joint, and click here to keep tools. If you want, you can create a new component out of this, but I don't need to at this point. So I'm just going to click OK. And when I remove the lower pelvis here actually I'm not going to even move it, I'll just make it disappear you can see that my model that my hip joint actually cut in there now I'm going to do this because I can only cut into apparently one part at a time I'm going to repeat the process for the lower pelvis here so let's go to combine. Target body this time is going to be lower pelvis. The tool body is still going to be my hip joint. I want to keep the tools. I want to make sure it's set to cut. And I'll click OK. So now let's see if it worked. I'm going to remove the upper pelvis. Right? And I'm going to remove the hip joint. And there you go. Yeah, it made the cuts. So now. I'm going to just demonstrate this whole thing with a section analysis. Something I haven't talked about just yet, so I'll recreate one. And if 
I remove it's, that's what's going to look like in there. It's going to keep the the hip joint from sliding back and forth, you know, in and out. Uh, but if I remove the hip joint, you can see there you go. That's where the mushroom peg is going to slot in, you know, through the top there, and this lower pelvis is going to be screwed in to the upper pelvis to keep everything locked into place. So that's so that's how you do boolean difference, and that's how where I'm how I'm using it here, and uh, you know you can use it like that for your other projects too. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons below. Also, post any questions you have in the comments and I may answer them in another video. And remember, anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. So keep learning, keep designing, keep making, and be proud of your work.